So another type of thing we want to look at that relates to basic integer properties is prime factors. So if we're going to look at the prime factorization of a number, we take the number and slowly break out its prime factors by using a factor tree. And again, all of these lessons sum up things that have been taught in our general math videos. So if you're a little confused on one of these concepts, you definitely want to go back there. And then in these videos, you get to see how it's specifically applied to the SAT. So we did prime factor trees in there, but here we slowly split off the prime. So 2 would be multiplied by 24 to equal 48. That's even, so we're going to take 2 out again, since 2 is a prime number. Here we're going to get 2 times 12 equals 24, and from 12 we can take out another 2 and have 2 times 6 equaling 12, and then here we can take out our last 2 and get 2 times 3 equals 6, which means that our prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, and if you plugged that into your calculator, you would get 48 back out as your answer. Our prime factors then are just 2 and 3. And if I want to sum those prime factors to get my actual answer for this problem, I would just add 2 and 3, and my answer is then going to be 5. So the SAT likes to take you using a concept and then have you plug it back in to get something else. So 2 and 3, obviously, aren't our answers, neither is this whole prime factorization set, but the sum of the two, which equals five. That's it for this video on properties of integers. Thanks for watching educator.com.